friends, it's Melissa in Minnesota. I hope everyone is having a fabulous day today. It is a gorgeous day here in northern Minnesota. It is in the uh, mid-70s. Uh, we've had some days that have been in the 80s, which is not bad. I really like it. Uh, I kind of miss those days. I do not miss the heat indexes that the South used to have, where they'd be like 100, 510, and just, you know, the temperature itself would be 90s to 100. I do not miss that. Here, I enjoy the low humidity 80s, upper 80s days. I know people here are saying it's hot. I'm like, this is not hot. This is wonderful. <laughs> and because we have like five to six months of winter, it, you know, those days to me are just heavenly. I feel the happiest when that's going on. So I have been very happy in the last couple of weeks. But, uh, you know, it's it's just great. It's it's August here, and it's just absolutely fabulous. Uh, the reason I'm coming to you guys today is I'm trying out a new company, a new brand, a couple new products, and I wanted to share them with you. This is a company, I would just say this up front, this is a company that I've had on my radar for about a year, and I've been suggested by other subscribers that I should try these, and, and you know, I just wasn't sure whether or not it was a company that I could truly trust. And I've been emailing the company throughout the past year, not consecutively, but here and there, just to find out if there was any uh, contradicting information between customer service reps. And that's kind of how I test a company. Uh, I ask questions, I see how they answer them, I find out, uh, do my research ingredient wise. Uh, one of the, uh, I will link this down below, one of the ingredients that I have very, closely watched in companies is tocopherol or tocopherol acetate, which is a form of vitamin E. Not all companies are upfront about that. I have uh, checked with a couple companies and they will not reveal that source whatsoever. I don't know whether they don't know or or what, or they're, they're claiming that they're gluten-free, but they will not reveal that source at all. So unless a company is upfront about what their vitamin E is and where it comes from and how it's sourced, I'm not touching that company or those products with a 10 foot pole. This company has passed with flying colors as far as what I expected. I found out their vitamin E, the tocopherol, uh, tocopherol acetate comes from rice bran. I have um, watched reviews uh, or you know uh, what's come up in their comments as far as how people are reacting to it. And so I thought I would take a chance. Um, I've been trying these products for a couple weeks because I really wanted to test it out and to make sure I didn't have any reaction. I've had no reaction. They are a, a cruelty-free vegan company. If that's uh, the route that you want to go, I kind of look for those things. In a way, I am not a vegan and I, um, I do recommend cruelty-free, but I also eat meat and I know where it comes from. I have a homestead. I know where meat comes from, but I do not believe in, and this is we're getting on a little soapbox here. I don't believe in mass producing food. I believe raise what you want, eat what it is, and you're not going to um, not humanely treat the animals that you have. So I know people don't agree with that and that's fine, but I'm not one to go to a supermarket and pick up some product that I don't know how that animal's been raised and I know how practices go. So uh, with that said, we'll, we'll get off of that soapbox. And uh, the products that I have have uh, tested. They do claim that they're gluten-free. And like I said, I have checked to make sure that their vitamin E, it comes from a gluten-free source. I will let you guys know what I got. And it's only two items. It is two eyeshadows because I wanted to test, put my toe in the water to see how it performed. Now, uh, there was a little mishap. I ordered two shadows when I got one shadow and they are the eyeshadows. I'll go ahead and show you what they are first. They are the eyeshadows. They're pressed. One is in quartz, which is a, uh, a very not a light brown, but it's a medium brown tone, has a little bit of shimmer to it, and this one has a shimmer as well, but uh, sugared. And this is a beautiful bronzy gold color. Uh, I think not only for the summer, but perfect for uh, carrying over into the fall. I would wear these colors no matter what, when I, they're just very neutral colors, which is what I wanted to try out, perfect to test with. Now, the sugared, when it got to me, and I will insert pictures, was broken. And I do not like loose powder. Before I went gluten-free, I used Bare Minerals, and I kind of like them, but I have a basket full of stuff from Bare Minerals. The loose powder, I don't like. I don't care for it. And then when they went pressed, they were not gluten-free. Um, iffy on the ones that were powdered, whether or not they were gluten-free or not, I just don't, don't even want to test them. Um, 
I was a makeup junkie before going gluten-free. Now, after going gluten-free, it has become a whole new world for me. And with companies starting to, uh, again, jumping on that uh, band, the soapbox, the bandwagon, uh, whatever, soapbox, I think is what you call it, not the bandwagon. But, um, well, I guess they were kind of jumping on the bandwagon of anything that was gluten-free. Let's label it gluten-free and let's put the product out there and see who will buy it. Uh, I'm not one of those because of my sensitivity. You can't label it gluten-free if it's not gluten-free. It's just not going to fly with me. I become very, very ill, very sick, and I will... <laughs> I'll call out your company. I'm sorry. That's the way it goes. I'm not going to cater to a company that I know that's not true to the values that I need and what I need to um, to stay well. So this company, I like I said, I've been testing this out. I've been for about a year researching it and I, I trust them now. So I've had no issue with the uh, eyeshadows. I've not tried anything else. Oh, well, I can't say that. I got samples of their 100% pure uh, water foundation that was not uh, something that I, I just don't care for the foundations um, uh, I did a small little review because they were just samples that I got in a past video if I find that in my videos I'll put a link to it and let you guys know but uh, the customer service when I got sugared and it was crushed was just fantastic I emailed uh, it's funny because the contact that I go through for Red Apple is Ashley and the contact that I went through for 100% uh, Pure Ashley both those girls are fabulous I but uh the sugared was crushed ashley got that out to me and no problem i received it was able to test it out and now i have two pressed powders that i've been experimenting with it doesn't look like i've touched these but i i love this they don't indent they seem soft but with my regular brushes um i, I use softer brush bristled brushes anyway so they don't dig into the product at all but uh i'm going to swatch the colors roll. This is uh, sugared and this is that rose gold bronzy color uh, that I was talking about and then I will swatch quartz for you guys right next to it and so you guys can see the one um, right here this is quartz so this would be sugared and this is quartz these colors work fantastic i am wearing sugared i don't even know if you guys can tell but i am wearing sugared all over my eye more concentrated on the lid and then i blend it up um, to my brow bone uh, the colors do stay because i'm rubbing but uh, you guys can see they do stay i don't have to worry about anything coming off I am a natural girl. I like to use shadows just the way they are. They do fade unless you use uh, a primer. Red Apple Lipstick Primer is the one that I is my go-to primer. So if I'm going out and I need my eyeshadow to stay, that is the primer that I will reach for. It's help your shadows stay on. But other than that, I don't mind if they fade. At the end of the day, I take off my makeup. I am a very natural girl. You guys pretty much know that. I don't put on a lot of makeup to film. It is what it is and you get what you get. But um, I will say besides the customer service, which I love, besides the these shadows and I will be ordering more shadows so stay tuned you guys will probably see another little haul coming up um, hopefully within the next month or so um, November is my birthday month so maybe I will treat myself then so we'll see what happens but uh, they send samples and remember I made an order and then in the replacement order they sent a couple more samples so in total this is what I received I received six of these samples this is the coconut uh, nourishing uh, body cream and so I have not tried any of these yet, but uh, I do have these. A French lavender hand buttercream is the other sample that they sent. And then I got two pink grapefruit nourishing body cream. So a lot of a lot of creams in this order. It would have been kind of nice to get a hand wash or something like that or a body wash. But um, these are antioxidants and vitamins uh, within the uh, within the products. They're 100 percent natural, 100 percent vegan. And so, yeah, I will give those a test out and let you guys know. Those should be gluten-free, so uh, I will do a little bit more research on these. I was just uh, mainly doing research on makeup, but uh, as far as I know, they are definitely all cruelty-free um, and gluten-free. 
but yeah that's my small little uh 100 pure haul and i hope you guys enjoy seeing these products if you have any items that you recommend that are gluten-free in the 100 line please let me know i would love to uh, see those and maybe see swatches if you guys have them uh what you recommend uh i am kind of looking for um the products i need a blush right now i'm using my red apple lipstick uh, shadows for blush and I really like those and I will continue to do that but I want to know what you guys think of the 100% uh, pure blushes if anybody has, has tried those uh, let me know what your favorite colors I like natural uh, pinky peachy type blushes so if you've tried one and you think that I should try one uh, let me know what the color is I would really love to hear that so hope everyone is having a fabulous day I am wishing you a happy healthy gluten-free day and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys